Welcome to Couch's Corner. I am your couch captain today, Axel Malibu. And uh, today we're taking go back into the old way back machine, back into the uh, early 90s. And uh, I'm here with Suzette Spaghetti and Christopher Hansen. And we are going to be talking about some old school Nickelodeon. And uh, I understand recently that there is a book that's coming out called Slimed that is about uh, how Nickelodeon started up and whatnot. So, uh, all right, guys. So let's talk about some old school TV. Let's do it. All right. So what was probably your favorite show way back when on Nickelodeon that you watched? Salute your shorts without a doubt. Ooh, without good one. Without a doubt. Yeah. Close second. You can't do that on television. Ooh, oh, definitely. Canadian classic. Yeah. I'm sure if I remember any of the names. Is that with that temple? Legends, Legends of the, of the Hidden yeah. Temple. Yeah. I forgot the name. There's like that. Um, Clarissa Explains It All. Um, all that. Uh, all that was... I thought it was cool. Yeah. Um, they had some of the, Anything all with the game Stick, shows. Anything with Stickly was cool. Oh, oh, oh he, was, he, was like, he was like, <laughs> like a like host. between the shows. Yeah. <laughs> I know. He was um, great. He had, like, he had his, his own castle. Christmas special once. We did? Yeah. Really? Stick Stickly had a Christmas special. I wonder if that's on YouTube somewhere. Uh, I doubt it. Probably not. <laughs> hey, man, if Glutton Bowl's on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, anywho. Um, so, has there been any shows that you've loved back then you watched recently like on youtube or whatever and it had and it has aged well or hasn't aged well i hate to say that clarissa i bought the dvd of the first season yeah it didn't hold up that well no mm. yeah i agree with you i have the same unfortunately. thing unfortunately same thing i haven't really watched any recently Nothing. so i don't i don't know but yeah i'd say pete and pete is better now than oh, it was yeah. when i was a kid that show is that way is better now um, yeah, definitely salute your shorts has held up very well. You yeah. mean that now you're older, you now understand it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's just seems There's different. a lot of nuances that you yeah. can um, up on. <laughs> I've seen some Hey Dude online. Oh, yeah. That, that wasn't that great, watching it the second time. I like the so uh, Indian the guy thing. who's just like, hey, Danny. Oh, yeah. Why, <laughs> why did you let the horse go? No, uh, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Mr. Ernst will be mad. Yeah, I always liked Mr. Ernst. He was Mr. great. Mr. Ernst was the best. Yeah. And I remember there was a commercial that said, why don't you ever see Mr. Ernst and Artie the strongest man in the world in the same room? Yeah, you remember there was a commercial <laughs> <laughs> implying that they're the same guy. <clears throat> really? Are they? I don't know until this day. <laughs> I mean, That's so that weird. Strange. Okay, weird, yeah. It was right next to the commercial where the locker opens up and it's Mr. Lippman's head and he goes, Happy Halloween! Oh, welcome man! Freshman. Dude, Welcome Freshman has held up extremely well yep. today. Show. With Mortis no? the Safety Tortoise. Oh, yeah, Mortis the <laughs> Safety Tortoise is great. It was a show where, yeah, it was about these freshman high schoolers and their wacky misadventures with the principal. Yeah, Mr. Lippman. It was like Saved by the Bell. But Nickelodeonized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nickelodeonized. Exactly. Speaking of Nickelodeonized, you guys remember when people got wienerized on Wienerville? Oh, yeah. I don't know that show either. That was yeah. a great show. Wienerville, it was Mark Wiener, and he had a bunch of puppets, and he had Socko, and he kicks everything. He had this awesome, like, no. he had this awesome, like, Hanukkah special. <laughs> yeah. This giant, like, potato locky man. It was awesome. Oh, man. Wow, really? And they played it, like, right before, um,. The like Nickelodeon uh, New Year's Eve thing. Yeah, remember on Nickelodeon during Halloween, you'd call up and they had that like that like Nick or treat. We're like we're like you dial the number and you go Did to like dial on the left or right. Well, oh, no. you can't get through. Yeah, you can't get through. <laughs> you it's so busy. Did you try? That's, that's busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you tried. You redial, 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 redial. Not happening. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you go through the like the Sega CD. Yep. Oh yeah. Graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's just like these crudely CGI house. You're like, all right, now like uh, press, press one for press, door press one number for this two. house. And you go up, and it's just like a CGI skeleton going. Ah! Yeah, you, like, you, oh no! Pick the other one before your time's up. Oh, your time's up. Sorry, click. Yeah, if you, know? you get like three skeletons or jack o' lantern ghosts or yeah, whatever, yeah. you don't get any prizes. But if you get to the very last house, then you get like the like. PlayStation 1. Or, yeah, yeah. Or some moon boots. Or yeah, something. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you'd win like a pair of Nike Airs or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you get a Huffy bike. Huffy bike, yeah. Or some LA gear. Or, yeah. Some uh, British Knights. <laughs> yeah, British Knights. Oh, those are those great. Those are the prizes that they, they always gave away on the Nickelodeon game shows. Yeah. British Knights, Huffy bikes, and... Um, a, a, Mac, and a, a Mac 1 or 2 computer. Yep. An Encyclopedia Britannica. 
or that's true. Or a trip a, to, to Universal, Universal Studios, Studios in Orlando, Florida, when where you already you are. are. <laughs> yep. I mean, those are the those are the prizes back then. Those are the prizes you could get. Yeah. On Nickelodeon. So speaking of game shows, those are some really good games. I knew. Shows. I know that one. Um, I, again, I don't know the name, but the host was Summer Sanders. Figure it out. Figure it out. Yes. Oh yeah, that was I a good one. That back. Good one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that had like that had like a lot of the guys from all that on it. Yeah, it was like the Nickelodeon stars of the day yeah. would be on. Yeah. Like it out. some kid had like some, some weird. Uh, Talent. Talent. Or, like, it's, like, it's like a kid would make paper out of like dryer lint and they yeah. had to figure <laughs> like, what it is, you know? Yep. Yeah, I, I do remember that show. Yeah. What are the game shows that they have? They, they had, had Nick Arcade. Nick Arcade, which is awesome. With Mikey. Um, Mikey you had is that the big, the big crag? The ocean, he gets no, 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 that was Bob Global Gut, the added crag. Oh, yes, that I remember had, um, that. Who's the, what's the name of the host on that? Mike. Mike. Uh, Mike. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Aaron at work would know who it is. Um, <laughs> Mike something. He's always we like, we all know the show. Yeah. Yeah. Then you had the girl Mo who was like, yeah. take it away, Mo. Yeah, she's always <laughs> like, all oh, right, now you kids have to go around the buoy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, we got so much of this stuff on VHS tapes, like, looking oh, yeah. around. The um, and then, uh, yeah, so it was, what else was there? You had, uh, what about what about the other show with, with um, the you, you had You had a uh, uh, double dare. Um, what was the other one with Wild Mark and Summers? Crazy Kids? Wild and Crazy Kids was awesome. Oh, Mark Summers had Double Dare, and um, then he had... Not figured uh, out. Um, don't worry. Super Double Dare. No, no, no. What was the other one yeah. where, like, where, like, at the beginning, he takes out like, the paintbrush, he goes, whoop, whoop. Right. That was... Um, Why can't I think of it? What would you do? What would you do? Uh, that show was great. What, 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 what would what you would do? You do? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that theme song, but I don't really remember the show, though. Really? Remember, remember like, there, there were all these wacky... Show. Yeah, <laughs> there were, like, these wacky doors on the walls, so he would Again? go up to, like, the audience. No, they, and these they were, are like, real doors. Oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. It's like a cubby hold. Mm -hmm. So they're all, like, weird like shapes. They all had numbers on it, and he'd, he'd give you, like, let's say, whatever. Some, he got somebody in the crowd or whatever. Somebody, he'd give you, like, a token, right? Mm -hmm. And you go, and you put this slot in the door and the token. You'd open up the door and sometimes it would just be like a hand that would give you like a like a Nickelodeon water bottle or a t-shirt but sometimes you get like a pie in the face or or they they'd shoot pie stuff at you and, and then you'd go on the pie coaster, the pie, coaster, the pie slide and yeah. then they go on the pie chair where the hands I don't know it was a it was a pie shower I don't know pie shower pie shower that was probably in the I don't know. Well, they just had never ending pies yeah pretty much it, or it's just like pie innard you know like like cream <laughs> pie cream pie pie innard yeah. I remember, like, Wild and Crazy Kids was nothing but, like, they get, like, Richard Simmons on the show and be like, all right, kids, let's throw pies at each other. And, like, no, oh, and that was the show. <laughs> the silly That's bat relay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where you spin onto the wiffle bat and then you yeah. run into 16 other kids and <laughs> yeah. whoever doesn't break an arm wins a <laughs> yeah. T-shirt. But, um, but, like, Global Guts was great because that had probably, like, the biggest production value. Mm -hmm. cause, that was, um, like, gladiators. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, you had the aggro crack that would shoot crack. confetti yes, at you and right. stuff. I and do remember you that. won the big You have to sign a waiver piece. for that show. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your yeah. parents want to get rid of you if they put you on that show. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, there were a couple of early shows. You guys remember the one that... Uh, it was like hide, um, and seek. hide and seek. Yeah, yeah. You're in like the big house. It's like cut out. Yep. And, and yeah. you have to find clues or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Uh, I don't it's know. so weird though. <laughs> like when you think about it, like early, early, early Nickelodeon had so many different shows than like how we remember like in the early '90s, where early stuff was like, yeah, you can't do that on television. Um, there was like uh, the Pinwheel Show, Every Day is Special, stuff like that. That like you know. Yeah, but, you know what about the shows? Sure. Let's talk about see if we can figure out some mysteries here because I have some shows that I remember. I don't know the titles. Oh, me of them. too. I have Same no thing. idea what I've, they I've were. I've tried to look online. You can't find this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like so, there was this one show. I remember it was a cartoon, probably on Nick Jr. It was koala bears. And uh, they lived uh, in the tree outside uh, this kid's window. Uh, you can look the sleeves. This, 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 this is an under the umbrella tree. No, 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 no. no. Those were Muppets. I know it, this is a cartoon. Uh, oh, this is a cartoon. <laughs> I think it's for, like a foreign one and they dubbed it. I know exactly what you're talking really? about. Yeah. I have no idea what, what it was. It was probably like, like, probably like right next to David the Gnome and stuff like that. And like right, Heathcliff right. and, and uh, Inspector Gadget and stuff like that. They used to play in. There was like honey. The Bee or something like that. There was the a Gummy Bears TV bee. show? You're talking about Disney Channel right now. No. You're, You're talking okay. about Disney Channel. Okay, all right. When Disney was a pay channel. <laughs> yeah, and, and he had What's-His-Name with a sweater on trying to tell you to subscribe to it. Yep. Whatever his name was. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Anywho. Walt Disney's corpse? <laughs> no, you know what you know, I'm talking about. You know that guy from... from 
uh, the show, you got the picture on your on your desk at, at your home. What? Oh, Alan Thicke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just always wear like a sweater vest or like a Bill Cosby sweater and be like, all right, I hope you're enjoying your free week at Disney. Now to subscribe for 20 bucks a month, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, anyway. So what are some shows that we can help you solve? There was a show. It's called like, you know, it's called like Someone's Treehouse or Someone's Secret Place. It was about this. Allegra's Window? No, 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 Castle? No, 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 that was awesome with Batman. R.L. Stein was either Allegra's the head window. writer or wow. the producer on that. Really? I had no idea. Yeah, he, had, awesome. he was involved. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, like, uh, it was like a show where there was this dude, and it was just shots of this guy, like, like We're walking in the house? woods. There's something, was it? So, is that you said? There's a tree house? It, or, it's like, it's called, it's like somebody's secret house, somebody's secret <laughs> place, crazy. some kind of like, or like hideout. I think it's called like somebody's hideout, right? You know, it's like, it's like, it's like you know, you when you're a kid and you just want to get away, you, like, you, know, you, have your, you know, you have your tree house, your hideout, <laughs> yeah, where you just kind of be alone. <laughs> that, like, that's what this place was. So you had this guy, and, you know, it kind of looked like Jim Henson, had like a beard. Maybe it was Jim Henson, I don't know. Had like a beard and stuff, and it would be like, there'd be like this like river. Some personal issues. No, no, no. <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be like a river, up. and there'd be like stones. He'd like walk over the stones so he didn't get in the river. This was on Nickelodeon? Yeah. Okay, and, keep and going. And this was Nick Jr., right? You're lighting and, a match. And then, and then he goes into like this kind of like tree house, of, you know, bamboo or whatever, and he hangs out with this little Muppet that looks a lot like Wimbley from Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. And they like chat, and I don't know what else happens, but then at the end of the show, during the end credits, while the credits roll, he's like walking away, going over the stones, over the river and stuff. And I want to say Pappy Land. I know it's not Pappy that. Land. What in the world? <laughs> Pappy Land. Pappy Land. Pappy Land is this old guy who like just got out of prison or whatever. Is that or whatever. Not <laughs> it's Nickelodeon? <laughs> no, he just looks that way. And he, uh. Anywho. Yeah, we don't know that show. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Um, Sorry. Was he Muppet walking over the... No, 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 he was real. He was a real guy. Okay. Real live dude, you know? And I just, I can't remember this to yeah, save my life. Yeah, I don't life. know. Try this one on for size. So there is like <laughs> this like little girl and she lived in a house that was slash like antique store or something and she was upstairs was like her room or whatever. And there was like Ooh. a puppet old man oh, who hung man. out with her. This sounds wicked familiar. <laughs> oh. These shows sound so creepy. Right. Uh, any of you, you, you guys out there, guys out there in the Neil real world, Colin. if you guys at home can know, if any of you guys at home can know what we're talking phone. about, can crack the case and let us know what it is, creepycastletv at G... Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Couch's no, that's for the other show. Couches <laughs> Corner TV at gmail.com. No, 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 that's for the other show. Cre uh, Couches <laughs> Corner TV at gmail.com if you can tell us what any of these shows are today. And you will not you get, get a, a prize. special prize. And we'll send you, you a DVD of the show. We'll send you something Couches Corner related off of Zazzle. We'll send you the actual couch. Some British knights or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. To Orlando yeah, Studios. Yeah, yeah. You might win some a LA trip to gear. Stack Studios in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of mystery shows out there. Weird. What about you? Any mystery shows? I think all the shows I I know I don't know the names. Of. Really? <laughs> wow, weird. But um, what else did I watch? It was. Um, I think I named them all the ones I watched. Um, what, did you go outside as a kid or something? <laughs> <laughs> Man, for us it was no, Nickelodeon I, and Sega Saturn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis too. Oh yeah. Yeah. I absolutely. do own one of those. Yeah. Um, Let's we'll do an episode just to take a Genesis sometime. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't think of any right now. I feel like I'm, I'm put on the spot, and I don't, I don't know right now. Wow. How about any not Nickelodeon shows, just out of curiosity? That I remember worked. that was show. That? Sorry. I don't know what channel it was on, but for some reason I watched it every week, I think on Saturday mornings. It's called Endurance. Endurance? Endurance. Yeah. Is that another like Global Gut show or something? Yeah, it was kind of competitive and athletic. Yeah, no. I don't right remember there. that at all. I remember there was like a kids gladiator. I remember there was there was um, um, like the Crypt Keeper from Secrets of the Crypt Keepers Haunted House. I had yeah, episodes yeah. of that on tape. Believe it. <laughs> that show was awesome. Oh, you yeah. would have that. Yeah, that was like something you would watch. Oh yeah, baby. no, that yeah. was, was great. Like kids, was I think that was on like, like UPN thirty eight. Are you afraid of the dark? I watched. Oh I just, yeah, are you afraid of the dark? Is awesome. Scary. Yeah. yeah, that was a when great show. They used to put out the fire at the Oh end. man, oh, yeah. I remember there was always a dude who recurred in all the episodes. His name is Mr. Sardo. <laughs> he was like, it's Sardo. 
it's French or something like that. You <laughs> he know? was in Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah. yeah. He showed up in like a ton of different episodes. Mm. I gotta watch He, he would always be working in a magic shop. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> something like Curiosity Shop. Yeah, and he'd be yeah. like, oh, cool. What's and this he, little monkey? He, yeah, he'd sell you like a, a spell book or like <laughs> yeah. a, a haunted snow globe. Do you think those episodes would be scary now? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, that and like the. Probably not as. I mean, okay, the Goosebump <laughs> show. Was scary then, probably not scary now. But are you afraid of dark? Oh yeah, that's probably scary now. Scary. I don't remember one specifically with like a dollhouse. I don't know what. Where the people it was, shrunk. Yeah, yeah. I I really don't know why just, I remember that. Just a one quick episode. story. I don't know if I I probably might have told you this, but when Chris and I were little kids, we did a sleepover and we stayed up all night so we could watch Tales from the Crypt at midnight. Yeah. Yeah. And we watched it and it was not scary at all. No. Nope. We were like, why? I think we... it was the one with like John Lovitz. Probably. Why are you not scary at all? <laughs> exactly. Come on. Bad guy from Mom and Dad Saves the World, <laughs> right? And, and then we did it another night. I mean, we had a sleepover another night. Yeah. And then we were waiting for uh, Tales from the Crypt and then all of a sudden, like after Mad TV finished, we're like, all right, it's Tales from the Crypt time. And then it was VIP. Oh, that's right. And VIP yeah, was terrible. Was terrible. terrible. Oh, it's awful. Oh, oh. It, was, it was Pamela, Pamela Anderson, Anderson and, and some other girls that like agent. shoot stuff up. I oh, know. wait. It took it's place not, in like Miami or something. Did she wear like black? She wore a lot of scaly clad top. stuff, you know. Barb Wire. <laughs> Barb Wire was a, was a movie. <laughs> they which all related to watch, but I mean, you know, whatever. Either, either way. What, yeah. Uh, either way, Pamela uh, Anderson. Was Pamela Anderson. This is Pamela Anderson post Baywatch. And this is Baywatch. this is when you had the preview channel, so you had to wait like thirty <laughs> minutes to wait. Oh, oh yeah. 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 For your oh, the TV for your guys show did, to yeah. come and up. And then you missed like, it, and you're like, yeah, you're like, you changed to watch man. something. And you're like, oh, now channel six. You know that channel's yeah. gone now. I they know, because they have, like, digital cable. Well, that is true. But you, they still have the TV Guide no. channel. No. It's, like, on Channel 30 just, in Selco. They still got it. Oh, yeah. Well, seeing how I don't live at Shrewsbury, yeah. I guess we don't have that. Oh, jeez. You guys, missing out. You it used to, to be Channel 23. Oh, okay. Well, it used to be 22, and then they moved it to 23. See, it was great because it was 30. And it was right next then, to 33, and which next was to, SPAC. Which was SPAC back in the day, which is now, like, 28. So, yeah, man. 33 was, like, wrestling. Wrestling. WWE. Wrestling, oh, channel. was? <laughs> probably. Was I, probably I, like, there was the there was the preview channel that would show like, like you can order the pay per view channel where you can order like the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh. And show just trailers oh, all day yeah, long. Oh yeah, 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 sure, I'm sure. Yep, yep. It was right next to the preview channel. It was right below it. So back on Nickelodeon. I always get confused as to what shows were on Nickelodeon and what weren't, like Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. Like, no, those are those were all like on show. Fox and ABC and yep. stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. there were there were cartoons, yeah, like Inspector Gadget and stuff, which I believe were on Nickelodeon. Yeah, that was Nickelodeon. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh. And the little dog. Which one? The dog. Doug Funny. <laughs> the dog. Oh, dog. Didn't he have a dog? In oh, oh, Brain. Yeah. Brain and yeah. Penny. Yeah, who actually saved and the dog? And then you see Penny with her. Computer book. Computer book. Like, I think that was awesome. Book. <laughs> nowadays, you could buy one for six hundred bucks at the Mac store. Yeah. You know? yeah. But Doug, funny. Doug, Doug was. Oh, a yeah, good Doug show. was a great show. Doug, Doug was a great was guy. There's something I recently found out. Up. Do you know that the voice of Doug Roger in like literally three quarters of the cast all on that show person? was all done by the guy who did Ren and Stimpy? What's his name? Oh, really? Ted. He does everybody. He does everybody. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. But like, I recently found out he, he did like everybody on that show. So, Stimpy was, yeah, Ren Stimpy was awesome. That was it. And your parents yeah. don't want to uh, watch hey, yeah, it. Ren, uh, hey, Stimpy! <laughs> you idiot! Yeah. What kind of yeah. accent was that, did he have? He was, um, his name was Ren Hoek. He was Scandinavian or something. I don't know. Wow. They were all the yaks. I don't know. But, uh, uh, yeah, so Ren and Stimpy was a show that my parents did not want me to watch. Obviously, I did because it was great. <laughs> But it was that and Beavis and Butthead they wouldn't oh. let me watch. They're like very similar. Just one's like. It's like. What are Ren and Beavis Stimpy? And He's a cat and a chihuahua. A cat and a chihuahua. Yep. Oh, that's a and then they tried and bring Ren and Stimpy back when they started up the Spike Network. Yeah, it was terrible. It's mm-hmm. awful. Just you like they tried to bring Beavis recently. and Butthead back, and that didn't right. really last. I didn't, I didn't get to see that. any of that. Yeah, I wanted to see really it. Just to check it out. Because yeah. clearly it's gone now. Yeah. Too bad. Oh well. Anywho. So Nickelodeon. So back to Nickelodeon. Um, yeah, there were a lot of good shows in them. Obviously, I, I have a wicked sweet spot for um, You Can't Do That on Television. Yeah, that was a great show. Do you ever see that? 
It's a show about a bunch of kids. I don't think I had Nickelodeon. Clearly, I don't know any wow, show. Wow, right? God. Jeez, get off the show, will ya? Um, yeah, that was a good show. With barf. With barf. Barf, yeah. Um, there was, you wouldn't like, like it because he cooks burgers. Oh, yeah. Well, he cooks burgers out of, like, anything. Burger, uh, people, skunks, trash. It was, it was like, was the, it, it, was, it, was it was a skit show with kids. It was yeah. Canadian. It was, like, before all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pre all that, pre and all that. it was like skits. And one of the one of the continuing skits Alanis was Alanis Morissette this, was a cast. Oh yeah, <laughs> and um, uh, you had this like wicked, grossed out um, like um, cafeteria guy, like a school cafeteria mm -hmm. or something, and. All the kids always made fun of him because they'd be like, oh, what's in his food today? He goes, duh, I heard that. <laughs> and so, and so, like, they'd talk about some... Yeah, they'd be like, oh, I saw a rat in the science center. And he'd be like, duh, don't worry about it. There's no more rats in the kids. science center. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's great news. Nom, 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 because I put them in, in my burgers. And the kid's like, ah, ah, you yeah, know, <laughs> every you. time. Yeah, it was a great show. It was awesome. Classic, like late '80s. Um, yeah, stuff and like then they they'd be in these colorful lockers. It'd be like a rainbow school lockers. Yeah. And one kid comes out and he's like, "Hey, I was there. there. What? <laughs> How'd the chicken barf in his burger? <laughs> Would the barf do it? <laughs> yeah, he did. And then the laugh track would go on. Yeah, no, it was and great then they stuff. say, "I don't know," and then he gets slime. Oh, yeah, oh, that was That's the coolest slime, slime dude. Slime. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, they were like, what is it you had to say to get different stuff? Or like, if you said, you said I, don't I don't know, know. got you slime. There was something that gave you water. water. Anything water, water, right? Just get water. There was like <laughs> some rare one that gave you a thing like purple or pink slime. I forgot what it was. I don't know. One about gave that. you purple or pink slime. I don't know. But yeah, that's where the whole slime thing originated. Oh. You guys remember back in the day, if you went to Toys R Us during the early 90s, they had their own Nickelodeon aisle? Yeah. You guys remember that? Remember Yak? Their toys. G Gak. Gak. <laughs> yeah, Nickelodeon Gak was good stuff. Oh, yeah. That that's was what a I meant. Yak. Yeah. And it, had the, it was shaped like a. Uh, sog logs. It, was, it came in that plastic, like. It was like. Yeah. Gross it looked like, yeah, it looked like and then you yeah. push it and you're like. <laughs> yeah. Or if you're like me and you get it stuck in the rug in your mom's oh, new Grand yeah. Cherokee. Or you get it stuck <laughs> in between the bug screen on your window and your dad has to hose it off. <laughs> yeah, I did the rug thing twice. And then they had the, the like, really yak that smelled like popcorn and stuff. Oh, and yeah. Popcorn, they mean dead animals. Yeah, yeah. It smells awful. That's right. Yeah, it was terrible. It's yeah. like roadkill. Well, I remember they had the, the Nickelodeon aisle. They had like all real monster uh, oh yeah, they had yeah. they had crumb and he. he I had to have him in my power that went for the it toy or whatever. Stink. Yeah, he stunk. stunk. And then his eyes, you could pull them. Yeah, out yeah, that's in my that's that's up in the attic somewhere. But um, and then Oblina. You guys remember Nobody the umbrella, that, right? Yeah, umbrella ass candy cane, I would say. <laughs> you guys remember <laughs> they had Nickelodeon shoes that had like the goop down here that you could see. I don't you think that was that? Nickelodeon brand. You I think sure? that was, I had those shoes. I don't think they were Nickelodeon <laughs> really? brand. Really? Advertised, yes, mm. on Nickelodeon. Weird. But, you know, we would sit down and... I swear to God they were Nickelodeon shoes. And just play with our, <laughs> our gacky shoes. Yeah. It looked like an oil spill in your <laughs> yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah. And then they had the shoes that had... I had a set of shoes when Mario Land came out, or Super Mario World. It was like a hologram, one of those things where you turn it. Oh, it yeah, like sure. It would show. move. It was like motion, yeah. Yep, and... Meyer would jump on Yoshi. Cool. Man, that stuff's probably like worth money today. Who knows? Well, guys, we're almost out of time. Is there anything that you want to add? Everything. Everything. <laughs> um, if there was any Nickelodeon show that you wish that you had on DVD or whatever, like what would you have? That you wish that you still had today that, that you could get back on DVD? I'd have to mm. say Salute Your Shorts again. Yeah, me too. Definitely Salute <clears throat> Your Shorts. I think I'll have to go with that. Uh that look once again I forgot the name. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? No. Well actually yeah. No, no, I'll go with that one. No, I'll go with that one. Okay. I wasn't gonna say that, but I'll go with that one. Honestly, oh. I wouldn't even want them on D V D. I want them on VHS with the commercials to run through and so this way. Yeah, just oh, to watch like the commercials. Great. I mean yeah. that's like, it? Yeah, no, no, I don't want any of that stuff. Oh, yeah, skip it. I have a skip it. Yeah. A oh, one. I could have cool. brought it in. Yeah. Uh, or like, remember it. when they used to sell the, the thing where like, it was like a piece of string that like you attached to a, to a doorknob? It was like this little like thing with a hook. Yeah, rope. And you do this. No, no, and you, and you do this, and it would just go down like this. What? With the rope, and it had oh, it was like, like, little, no, you had it was, the, it was like a ball, and would like click it. You had the... Oh, yeah, oh, the right. Zoom yeah, ball. Yeah, that sure, one. yeah, and you play with. Yeah. <laughs> remember they sell like moon shoes? Yep. Yeah, so. I always wanted moon shoes. Never yeah. got them. They're well, like $600. Yeah. 
Well, guys, we are just about out of time. That's so, again, thank you so much for being on the show. We'll have no to do, do this whole nostalgia thing again soon. So, all thank right, guys. You. Cool, cool. All right, well, that just about does it for Catch's Corner. We'll see you next time.